Hello Cancer, welcome to your reading. Let's see what we have for you today. What do the cards have in store for the sign of Cancer? What does the tarot have in store for the sign of Cancer? New Year have in store for Cancer regarding love. Especially with regards to this connection, the person you're thinking about, Seven of Swords, mm. leaving mental attitude behind, leaving things behind that no longer serve you, and I feel you're being very secretive, but it's for your own good, you know it's for your own good, you're not giving the game away. There's some confusion here. Choices. The person you're connecting with, there's things about them. I'm getting, you're getting mixed messages from them. There's some uncertainty, definitely uncertainty. And you suspect they're up to something. I'm not quite sure what, but you suspect something. You've been struggling with this. Nine of Wands, there's a history here. Somebody's hanging on to the past here. Mm, past conflicts. This is also representative of competition, this Five of Wands. You, f you, feel like you're being, you, you feel like you're competing with somebody all the time. Trying to live up to somebody's expectations. It's causing drama. But for some of you, I do see some unexpected news coming in. Picking up rash decisions. Beware of rash decisions. It's kind of like try not to make a decision because it seemed like a good idea at the time. You could regret this if you do. And I'm talking to any cross watchers as well. This applies to both of you, you and whoever you're dealing with. Mm. You've had a lot of patience. Seven of Pentacles. It's as if they're giving so much of themselves to you or you're giving so much of yourselves to them. But there's no kind of emotional fulfilment. The lovers, Gemini energy. Mm, interesting. Feelings there that you can't get rid of. Volcano, this is the feelings between you. It's still active. Emotionally, this connection's not dead. You might be living separate lives now, you might not be talking, but the connection's not dead. They're certainly thinking about you. There's a lot of reluctance here though, with this. Somebody's trying to decide whether to carry on with it or walk away. Mm, you're angry. Hmm. Somebody here is still angry. There's, there's pride, a little bit of arrogance and embarrassment at the same time. Mm. If this is not you, it's them. It's not a judgment. It's just what I'm getting from the cards. I don't know the details of your situation. Not possible for me to judge you on why you're angry. You obviously have very good reasons, but there's a new opportunity here coming. Ace of Wands. Now with the Ace of Wands, it's good, it's very passionate and exciting, but it can disappear as fast as it comes in. Just try and be aware of that. This is if you want to proceed with this. You're letting, you are letting go of a lot of the past, a lot of the fighting. Although you're still angry, you are walking away from it. You feel a sense of loss, but there's abundance coming for you. You're starting to feel much happier. Yeah, you will get over this. Mm. 
Somebody is very opinionated. The guard's up. Your guard's up. Their guard's up. Mm. But somebody here is thinking, mm, wish I hadn't said that. Wish I hadn't done that. There's kind of a regret here. Going into the future, the basis for this, all this though, is another opportunity coming, but there's a lack of interest because somebody here is still clinging to the past. You know, still running it over in their mind. What's the conflicts, the arguments? Yeah, there was competition going in several different directions. Sorry, messages going in several directions very fast. And so, and over the internet, causing conflict, an argument over the over the internet for some of you. Mm. Something is going to be revealed to you rather suddenly. Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords. Yeah, there's a sudden message here out the blue. It's kind of going to put you on the back foot. I feel somebody will be pressing for a decision. It's like you haven't talked for a long while and somebody comes in and say, OK, let's talk, let's get together. But the kind of energy where I'm not going to wait forever, make up your mind. Hmm. So like I say, there is the chance for a reunion and re-engaging with this person but there's some ground to cover here there's some differences and on both sides there's some acceptance needed now this kind of other influence it could be cultural differences for those for those of you in a long distance relationship it could be a family influence it could be rigid religious beliefs but there's definitely a third party and I'm kind of getting there needs to be some acceptance on both sides. But there is a new chance. You sense there's a new chance. But what do you want to do with that opportunity when it comes, when it manifests? You're kind of weighing up the good points about this connection and the bad points. The pros and cons, if you like. Yeah. Don't be surprised if you don't get an invite to go see them. I'm picking up relocation here, temporarily or permanently. Taking a break, getting together privately. This is what I'm picking up from this. This is what they want. They want they want to get together with you privately, I feel. Mm. Yeah, these arguments, this this pride. Somebody's got an opinion here and they, they're struggling to let go of a singular opinion. And it's kind of stretching your patience and I'm picking up stubbornness here as well. This is either on your side or their side. And again, I'm not judging. Yeah. Mm. See, the connection's still alive kind of spilt milk you've disappointing very very disappointing there's there's new hope here though you know it's you coming into your own standing in your power nine of pentacles being very very independent there's certainly some forgiveness here but the hardest thing is forgiving yourself. We can forgive others, strangely enough, fairly easily. But to forgive yourself is much more difficult. And to trust again is much more difficult. But I do see here, you know, things turning around for you. In all ways, this wheel of fortune, it's just a question of divine timing. I hope that's helped and thank you for watching.
Bye for now.